Hi, my name is Ralph Torres. I'm the saxophone and reed product specialist with Andreas Eastman. And I'm gonna go over today on how to practice the saxophone without actually having to play it. Something that I developed during my formative years when I was first learning how to play this instrument was trying to figure out a way to practice the instrument without annoying the family and my dogs and cats with all the crazy sounds I was making. And also something today that I've noticed as I've looked at YouTube and gone to see professional musicians is there's always an ease and comfortableness and effortlessness when they play their instrument that I definitely lacked when I was still learning. A very simple, easy way that you can practice this as you're watching TV, say, watching your friends play video games, anything. It's really quiet, it doesn't bother anyone. So what you can do is set your hands on your position, you know, with your thumbs on the thumb rest. Put your finger on B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and low B. You really could put your left pinky on any keys on the bottom spatula. And from there, you're just gonna simply and easily press down the first key, B key. As you watch my hands I, as I do this, I'm not moving any other fingers. I'm not lifting my other fingers. I'm not pressing down any of my other fingers. You see a lot of beginners when they play B, they'll play it like this, and they'll play A like this, and then G like this. All that extra mu movement causes tension, which is gonna affect their overall technique. So to get comfortable with doing this, just push down B. And after you've done that four times, push down A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, B, two, three, four. And then the other exercise is you just press down all the keys and then from the beginning start and let go of B and press it down four times. One, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, and so on. And as I do that, I'm making sure that I don't move my other hands and I'm also not trying to death grip the instrument as I'm doing it. Just a light pressure to push the keys down and then lift the other finger up. F, E, D, C, B. As you get more comfortable with just how the instrument feels in your hands, you can go ahead and start adding a metronome to this. And I always suggest when you practice, with or without playing, Use a metronome. You need to develop that inner time that musicians have to develop on their own. So I'm gonna set a metronome to quarter note equals 100, and then I'm just gonna do quarter notes, one quarter note for each finger. So here's the first exercise with quarter note equals 100, and I'm just pressing each key down once per beat. Two, three, four. B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now I'm going to continue with that exercise and just do eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Quarter note equals 100 for eighth notes with two presses for each key. Now I'll do triplets. Two, three, four. Triple it, 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 triple it. As you can see from that example, I got a little sloppy on that, so that means I should slow down my metronome. A few metronome markings. You always wanna work with the metronome to where you can do whatever you're working on as clean as possible. If that means dropping the metronome down marking to 60, just to do one finger at a time and not have your other fingers move, then that's what you need to do. You'll help yourself in the long run, develop better time, and develop better technique. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Ralph Torres with Andreas Eastman. I'm the saxophone and reed product specialist here, and I hope you were able to get something out of that video I did that'll help you on your journey.